Hey there, my name is Abdal Imam. Thank you for watching my videos. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about why your product design may be biased. And I have a UX research plan free to download, link in the description, which I will talk a little bit more about at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Hey there, my name is Abdallah Imam and I have been in the design industry for over 12 years. I had the pleasure of designing SaaS and enterprise tools for companies such as Google and Apple, as well as lead and manage design teams. SaaS and enterprise design problems are one of the most complex problems to solve. There are great UX design job opportunities in SaaS product design and enterprise tools. First things first, here are a few reasons your design could be biased. If anyone on your product team says one of these statements, we have been in the business for so long, we already know our users and we know the market and the business need. Why do we need data? It's just a common sense. I would rather pushing it and then we'll fix it later. or your user personas doesn't exist or have never been updated. If you don't constantly update and evolve your understanding of who the user are, um, you will end up designing for a user who doesn't necessarily exist anymore and your solution will necessarily, would necessarily solve the current user needs. If your team or your organization does not want to invest in any user research, and that could go from not having the budget to hire a UX researcher to simply not invest in getting the right tool or incorporating enough time to do some user research in your product design process. Unfortunately, there are also the traditional design practices and tech legacy biases. And I'm gonna quote and read from my phone here so I don't merely mistake the quote. So in late 2017, Samantha Breslin and Bimelish Wadawa introduced four main specifically gendering problems in human-computer interactions. Um, the first one is disparate number, which speaks to how the tech industry is dominantly dominant, dominant by males, specifically by white or Asian men. The I methodology, the tech tendency to reproduce the norm of their group. And design stereotypes, designers in general tend to use stereotypes of people who belong to the other groups that they don't belong to because they don't know exactly the details. And then focusing on the difference the reinforcing of the traditional binary categorization by emphasizing the difference based on the grouping. And I will leave a link in the description for this research and to read more about it if you'd like to. So how to reduce biases in your design? First thing, ask better questions to yourself, to your team, and also to your users. Open-ended questions, open-minded questions, and be open to understand and learn from the user as much as you can. Second, hydrate, design and hydrate as much as you can to get to the right solution. Um, most likely your first design won't be the best design and you will need multiple concepts, you will need multiple iterations and also prototyping is really, I can highlight how important it is to understand how the flow will look and feel like as you go through your design and or your user flows. And third, don't ignore your quantitative data and try as much as you can also rely on Git data analytics and insights and, and quantitative data as much as you can to help you with your design decisions as you go along. And most importantly and last thing, incorporate some of the UX research best practices in your design. And by any means, I'm not saying that anyone can do UX research, but if you're a product designer in a small team or in a startup, um, 
and you can afford to work with or hire a UX researcher or a dedicated UX researcher, um, I have a free template for you that you can download. And let's see what this UX research template could include or should include. A good UX research plan template could include an overview of the project, research goals, what are you trying to learn? And what are the specific questions this research would need to answer? Research method of choice. How are you going to research this? There are many out there, but the most used methods are hard sorting, usability testing, and UX surveys. It's also important to define who are your target personas, which helps you define your target participants. And I highly recommend having a step-by-step -step script to help guide you during the research sessions. And you would also add up an approximate timeline of how long the research activities would take. And finally, what would you include in a research analysis report? And this is where you share what did you learn and how would you recommend applying it to the designs. Lastly, this slides have some of the good UX research tools um, and links to these tools that I used in the past, not sponsored or anything, but I just find them uh, the most useful. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video.